Ninh Nguyen is a province in the south central coast region of Vietnam. There are both plains and mountains in the province. In addition, the province borders the East Sea to the east, which creates favorable conditions for it to develop its sea tourism. Along its coast of 105 kilometers, there are many extremely beautiful inlets and bays. Original cultural features of the Cham ethnic group are still preserved in Ninh Nguyen province. With many architectural sculptural works, craft villages, folk cultural festivals, and famous Cham towers. Phan Rang City is located on the intersection of the three strategic roads, including the North-South Railway, National Road No. 1A, and National Road No. 27 which connects the city, Andala, Lam Dong, and Daklak, Won Mathau. The bay is located in Vinh Hai Village, Vinh Hai Commune, Nine Hai District, about 40 kilometers away from the center of Phan Rang City. From the city, we get on a boat to explore the bay. Vinh Hai Bay is surrounded by mountains in which there are many beautiful caves, especially the water of the bay is so clear that we can see shoals of fish swimming. And it is really interesting to stand on the boat prow and enjoy cool gusts of wind. Indeed, this bay is surrounded by many stone mountains with strange shapes. And there are small crevices on these mountains. And swifts often build their nests in those crevices. When you come here, you can see local fishermen climbing mountains to take nests. The boat takes us to a small bay. There are 307 precious species of coral, 50 of which have been discovered in Vietnam. On nice days, visitors can buy a diving suit for themselves. And jump into the water to admire the most beautiful kinds of coral in this sea.
Earlier, people in the village earned their living by catching seafood. However, now they are willing to serve visitors with seafood they catch. You can catch lobsters or crabs or ask fishermen to catch fish. After passing a bridge and taking a 15-minute walk, visitors will come to the new Ikua Nature Reserve and then a village of the Cham people. Following a small path, visitors see small children holding bags going to the fields with their mothers and small cute dogs. On both sides of the path are full of colorful flowers and fruit. In addition, visitors can see small houses and fields that have just been harvested. Some cows are grazing and calves are sucking milk. Then visitors will see a beautiful stream named Lo'o. This stream begins from small water sources. And there are flat stones on both sides of the stream. And tiredness will fade away when we touch the cool water of the stream. On nice days, this place looks like a fairyland. Standing on the two sides of the stream, visitors can admire Vinhai Bay from a distance. After that, we come to Nam Kwang Sand Hill. And we can feel the beauty of the hill when we go for a walk here. And the moon begins to come out. Nam Kwang Sand Hill is waiting for you to explore. The windows of each room in the resort face the east or west, so that visitors can watch the sunrise or sunset from their rooms. The resort is located near Nine Chu Beach, so it takes visitors some minutes to reach the sandy beach, admire fishing boats and take morning exercise, or simply enjoy their breakfast to give them more energy.
we'd visit another famous place of interest. Poklongari Towers which were built in the late 13th century and early 14th century. Located on Tra Hill, Poklongari Towers consist of three towers. And the towers are surrounded by a square wall. The towers were built in the 13th century to worship a champ king named Poklongari. The main tower is 20.5 meters in height and has many floors. There is a statue of the king in the tower. Behind the main tower is a temple in which Princess Cut, also known as Delai, is worshipped. The second tower is 8.56 meters in height. This tower has the same shape as the main one. In the south of the two towers is another tower called Fire God, which is 9.31 meters high. The tower is where priests hold ceremonies to give offerings to gods. So it is called Fire God Tower. Poklongari Towers have a high architectural and sculptural value. With statues of Shiva and Nandam gods. Poklongari Towers were recognized as a national historical and cultural relic. Legend has it that, in ancient times, in Palashikling, there was a couple named on Paxa and Mukshikling. They did not have a child although they were old. And they accidentally met a child and took her home and named her Carrot. Carrot became a beautiful girl when she grew up. And everyone loved her so much. One day, Carrot came to the woods to find wood with her father. They were thirsty but there were no rivers and streams around them. Accidental. Carrot saw water in the stone so she came to drink. Strangely, she could not drink all water in the stone. And when her father came to drink, there were no water in the stone. After that, Carrot gave birth to an ugly and greedy son. Her parents named her son Jital. Then Carrot left her son to her parents to bring up. The more Jital grew up, the uglier he was. So he did not have many friends. He became mature when his grandparents passed away. And then he and his friend, Poklanshin, traded in betel leaves. One day, on their way home, Jital felt tired so he stayed by a stone. Poklanshin came home and then brought rice to his friend. When Poklanshin returned, he saw two white dragons licking Jital. Poklanshin rushed to Jital and the two dragons disappeared. And strangely, Jital became a handsome and intelligent man. Then that story spread everywhere and King Noel heard of it. The king knew that Jital would become an outstanding genius so he invited him to the court. Then the king kept Jital in the court. And then Jital got married to his daughter, Princess Thakal. In 1167, King Zelika passed away and members of his court did not know who could take the throne. And then they chose Jital. Jital took the throne with the title of Poklongari. Five years later, he removed the court from Balkra Banoi to Hangau. At that time, Pandaranga, his hometown, was often destroyed by Cambodian soldiers. Poklongari took his soldiers to drive away the enemy. According to historical documents, at that time, King Poklongari chose Pandaranga the place where he would have towers built. However, when he and his soldiers came to Balhal, 
they were stopped by General Hak Rao, Burma, and his soldiers. King Poklong Gare did not want to fight with General. So he challenged him to a game. In which one who could have towers finished first would become the winner. And the General accepted the challenge. King Poklong Gare had his towers built on Bala Hill. And Hak Rao had his towers built in Balho. Finally, Poko and Gare towers were finished first so he became the winner of the game. It is scorching hot wind I set off for the Great Garden 5 kilometers away from Poklong Garay Towers. At the moment, grapes are ripe. Grape frames look very beautiful and attractive. In harvest, they chose the best grapes, wash them then ferment them for the first time. And then they keep grape water and ferment it for the second time. 